Today we're gonna to talk about how to use ClickUp on your iPad as well as on your tablet and your iPhone because I have them on all of them. If you are interested in learning more about ClickUp, you can download my free guide, ClickUp 101. I will leave a link to that below and let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or just extra videos about ClickUp because I love this tool so much that I cannot stop talking about it. So let's get started. All right, here's ClickUp on my desktop. And for the most part, everything works the same. You're gonna see home, you, can, you have notifications on the mobile app, and you have your goals. You also have all of your spaces um, inside of here. Now, the only thing that I probably don't like about the app is when you're inside of here, I have the board view. That's what I prefer is looking at it this way, and then I can move things around the board as I finish them. That's just kind of how my brain works. We'll put these back. Uh, but on the phone, you can only see a small sliver of this. And when you turn it to landscape, it won't change. So it's really better to view this as a list on your phone. It's just gonna be a lot easier, or on, I guess I should say in the mobile app. Um, that's the only thing. Your dashboards are going to show up as well. Same thing with your dashboards. These dashboards are really optimized for the desktop. I know it's like cute kitties um and it is not really optimized for the mobile app especially not my iphone when you open up click up on your phone you are going to see everything on your home page that you normally see on the desktop so you have your to do section you have comments you have your done section and then you have your calendar so you can see everything that you have put in for different dates and then over here if i jump over to spaces uh, and we look at that same place i was just at before and pretty fabulous and planner pixies uh, we can see i have the board view because that's what i prefer that's what i leave as my default and it kind of gives you a hint on the left there's another column and on the right um, and here it's telling you hey there's a column to the left so it's not the layout I want. And even when you turn the phone to landscape, it does not change the orientation of the view that you have. This is the only one, it's a vertical view. Uh, so if you go into September and you click down here at the bottom where you see that 13, I can still check off things on my list. So if I did the Adobe Design Monthly Newsletter over here, I could go ahead and mark that as done. I could hit the button on the left, the checkbox and hit complete. So also monthly goal setting workbook. I did do that so I can hit that on the left, go to complete, and then I'm done with all those subtasks. So you can see it says over here on the left to do six out of 13. So let's go over to look at dashboards. So if I go to dashboards down here, uh, we can see if I look at that first dashboard, it's just taken all of those boxes that were on the left and the right. It's just made it one long continuous uh, column of boxes because it's just not able to do that pretty dashboard look you're still going to get all of those widgets that you had before it's maybe just not going to be laid out optimally like you had on your desktop so uh not a big deal but i, I would say this is definitely better to view on the desktop than it is on the app. So let's go ahead and jump over to the iPad. I don't think I put any, yeah, I didn't put any docs in here. Uh, let's jump to the iPad and I'll show you. What so if you try to open ClickUp on your iPad through a web browser, I'm in Chrome, uh, once you hit the login button, it will automatically open the app for you. It won't allow you to do anything else. Now, it does look pretty much the same as the iPhone. However, because I'm in landscape mode, it does allow you to look at your board in a horizontal format. It also, if we go down to dashboards, uh, the dashboards are going to look a little better too. So the dashboards are going to be a uh, landscape layout, kind of how you had planned it before, um, where you don't have to worry about it stacking all of these boxes one on top of the other. So I do like the iPad version of ClickUp much better than the iPhone version. So something to keep in mind now, if you uninstall ClickUp, this is interesting. So I have the app over here. If you uninstall it from your iPhone or your iPad, when you're here on the website and you click login, it will let you use ClickUp on the website browser instead of having to open up 
the app. And another nice feature is it does do landscape and then when I switch it, it will do a uh, portrait as well. And it still has the two columns. And if we even go into Planner Pixies and we look at the board, we can still see that we still have the three boards. So um, it does obviously, to me, look better in landscape because it more resembles my desktop and that's what I prefer. And then over here on my Samsung tablet, uh, it looks exactly the same. So we have a Here's the home screen with all the 71 overdue things that I need to work on. Uh, we have notifications whoops, uh, over here. And then when I go into spaces and I drop down into planner pixies and I don't know why I did that. Oh, maybe it only, that doesn't make sense. It was portraits just two seconds ago. I'm shaking it now like it's an Etch-a-Sketch. It's not moving. All right, so I swear it was landscape like two seconds ago. All right, so I guess it can only be portrait on the tablet. Um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it never did that. Okay, so if we look at the dashboards and we go to dashboard number one, it does have a two page, a two page layout. There we go. It is back to, that's weird. Well, clearly, there's something wrong with the app. <laughs> it is going from landscape to portrait. <laughs> so I guess the Android one um, maybe is not as stable as the iPad one, which is pretty much true for all apps, right? Uh, but it does still maintain that two column layout for the dashboard. It's just a little squish uh, because this is such, this is the Samsung S8 Ultra, so it's just really tall. And uh, well, it's tall in this format and wide. So see, I, oh, this one isn't even trying to, go back to landscape. But, all right, so there you have it. Those are all of them. Um, I like the app just because, well, I really love ClickUp just because it automatically syncs with absolutely no problem. I've had so many syncing issues in the past and this never has a syncing issue. It's instantaneous. Um, so that's always nice. Uh, and then I'm just having all sorts of technical difficulties today. Oh, there we go. Um, so I really like it on here. And I, I actually just love this screen better. This is my Samsung Ultra. Uh, and on the iPhone, it's just helpful when I need to look at something really quick. So that's why I've switched over to ClickUp for pretty much everything. All right, let me know if you have questions. Um, and just so you know, it is free to download this on the Android or on your iPad or on your iPhone. Uh, there's no extra charge beyond what you just pay for your ClickUp membership or if you have the free version. All right, I hope everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you later.